Eminem had a song called Till I Collapse. Mm -hmm. And he had a line in that song. He said, got a list. Here's the order of my list. And then it goes. Reggie, Jay-Z, Tupac, and Biggie, Andre from Outkast, Jada, Corrupt, Nas, and then me. He puts you between Jada and Nas. I love him. And, but he puts you in the group of Redman, Jay, Biggie, Pac, and Andre 3000. Yes, sir. And Jada and Nas. And that's why, you know, you got to love him. Because I, I love him to death. Even before he gave me that shout, you know what I'm saying? I already, you know, loved his music and... In the white world, oh my God, Eminem destroyed Lord Jamar with this little verse. In the black world, no one even heard that shit. No one even heard it. No one came up to me like, oh my God, did you hear what Eminem said about you? It ain't... Not one club played that fucking bullshit, whatever the fuck that shit's called, fall or whatever. Not one. Not one. They're playing fucking... Little Wayne shit up and down right now. In black America, that album meant something. In black America, Eminem's album meant nothing. And that's my point. That's my point. That it's two different worlds we live in. In that world, Eminem's the shit. In our world, he's nothing. I agree. He and puts, I'm sure he puts Nas and Jay Z up there, but not Eminem. He he admits it. And he's I agree. I'm from the hood, and I'm in the hood. There and you nigga, go. And niggas don't. There's nobody in the hood that's riding around to an Eminem album. That's just fact. That, that's what he's saying. And I'm sure Eminem know that. You know what I'm saying? He okay with that. Yeah. In my opinion. But what Lord Jamar was saying was facts, and what Eminem was saying is is his rebuttal is facts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Eminem is very for the culture. You had mentioned, I think last year in an interview, that your biggest regret was not signing Eminem. You said that Eminem gave you like six demos. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that story? Well, you could inter whenever you interview him, you can ask him because he knows every place he gave me the demo. <laughs> <laughs> so one night we having dinner, he broke down. Oh, New Jersey, uh, over here. How can I be down? Miami. Uh, like, he was like, I gave you my demo everywhere. You, did you ever listen? I'm like, oh my God, this is Eminem, my so, man. So you, you never even listened to the demos? I'm not sure. I mean, I feel you. Uh, obviously, that would be my biggest regret, you know? So it wasn't Eminem like... Eminem is like, you know... Eminem. Yeah. He's, he's a fucking statue, bro. He's a walking statue. So Eminem actually reminded you about <laughs> yes. all the times. Yes. He rubbed it in your face a little bit. He had to. I, mean, I get disrespected <laughs> all the time. News Flash M. I heard the album. And because I think you don't really know all the members that were in the group, I don't really think you know our history. I've been better than you this entire fucking decade. Huh? Can't say that back then. Can't say that back then. But in my rapper brain, I'm a content nigga. You got to say something. You have not said anything for the better part of a whole fucking decade. That's true. You have rhymed a bunch of words. I'm like, All right. Jelly. I'm talking about the Eminem boys. What's up, Remy? I'm, I smell, I smell smoke. Is that because he actually dissed you and you have yet to respond yet because you mad pussy and you scared to death and you know he would flame you if you even try it? Is that why? No, Rem. That's not why. Well, Scotty, you're right over here. I always loved that story about how um, on the blueprint, right, Jay-Z, the only guest he had on that record was Eminem. Yeah, and yeah, he got he crushed him. <laughs> we still use that word renegade right now. It's crazy. Yeah. Eminem's the man. Eminem's and the man. And when he did the Hills remix, I couldn't believe it. That's right. I mean, how did you find out he was going to do that? How did I find out? Yeah, he like, called me. He called you up? Yeah. Because, you know, you can't get a hold of Eminem. He has to get a hold of you, mm -hmm. right? That's the whole thing. Talk about close calls. And he doesn't, he, doesn't, he, doesn't call, he doesn't call you with his phone. He calls you from the studio phone. <laughs> so he does? So, yeah. But it's people like him that really inspire me. I mean, this might be my only video interview ever, to be honest with you. I really respect people like Eminem and Daft Punk and, and people who, you know, just let the music do all the speaking. 
It's definitely necessary sometimes. I really 